dada yake. Hapa nimesimama. Maiti yake ilikuwa hapa. Hayo ni ndugu yangu. Pain and grief could only be expressed through tears. The pain of loss through alleged mistaken identity that brought a somber mood in Molem area of Dandora here in Nairobi County. After a mysterious death of Don Oyayo who worked at a slaughterhouse in Kiamaiko, according to his wife she received a call from the husband but they could not communicate. Bonangu ali nipigia simu, nika receive. Sa ile ya kwanza ni alipigia kurisive aongei, basi ni kuna shakish shakish, aongei mi nikakata. Nikasema kuna ana piga simu na ongei nikamrudishia ile kumrudishia kaniambia nifungulie mlango ile mimi kufungua mlango kutoka kufika hapa tu kiasi nikasikia risasi sauti ya risasi miladutua mimi nikaangalia mimi niko nania sikira hata mimi nikashtuka kulingana na mtu alikuwa ananiangalia nikashtuka nikakimbia nikaingia kwa nyumba She decided to go out to open the gate just as Yayo had ordered little did she know that would be the last call and the last time to see her husband alive sasa kunja kwa nyumba nikachungulia tu hapo kodisha na funua funua hivi basi niko na wasiwasi kwa sababu ameniambia ni nifungulie nini mlango na yeye ni msikisa sauti risasi nikashindwa kuvumilia nikafungua mla kutoka hivi nikapata maongea na ongea tu kuna mtu msikisa sauti kaulizwa msikisa sauti risasi akaniambia kuna mtu ameangushwa pale mimi nikasema ni hey, labda ni yeye mimi kuteremka hivi kimbia napata already ameshazimika design sikupata so, tense yake kusikia sauti yake ya mwisho Area MCA condemned the incident terming it as inhuman and he promised the family that he will do all it takes to make sure the family gets justice. Kani hakikishie familia ya huyo jamaa ambaye tumempoteza leo. Hii kitu nitaifuatilia na hadi haki ipatikane kwa hiyo jamii. Hiyo ni jambo moja nataka niwahakishie pia nikiwaletea labda bizangu kama kiongozi wa eneo hili. Tuko pamoja kwa hii mambo ambayo yanatendeka na tutafuatana na nyinyi na tutafuatilia hii mambo hadi chini kabisa tujue hichi chenye kilitendeka na bona ikatendeka hapa kwetu. His brother Boru could not hide his pain through his voice saying that Yayo was liked by everyone around. He was a hard working man who fend for his family and he pleaded with the government to speed the process of justice. Watu baba ya watoto wanne ana survive with hard hand to mouth hawa watoto watakula nini kesho hawa watoto wako na nani atawaangalia bibi yake ni housewife ana biashara nyingine atatashikilia watoto nayo tafadhali serikali tuwarakishieni justice tuone tujionee tuna macho kuna haki Kenya Yayo has left behind four children and two wives and he was laid to rest at the Karyoko cemetery The latest case rears the ugly head of police brutality yet again with cases of Kenyans losing their lives in the hands of police officers increase.